Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about multiplying and dividing rational algebraic expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In our today's session, our focus is on how to multiply and divide rational algebraic expressions. Here, in our first two examples, we will focus first on multiplying rational expressions. The main thing here is for you to remember how to factor out polynomials because that is the key on how to multiply and simplify these rational expressions. What we have here is x minus 7 over x squared plus 3x times x squared plus 10x plus 21 over x squared minus 29. First thing we need to do is before multiplying is we need to factor out the numerator and denominator of each rational expression. Here, in our x minus 7, we can copy that as x minus 7 over our denominator. As you can see, we have x squared plus 3x. This one can be factored out as x times x plus 3 by common monomial factoring. Then times, for the numerator of the second rational expression, we can factor out x squared plus 10x plus 21 into x plus 7 times x plus 3 over this x squared minus 49 can be factored out as x plus 7 times x minus 7. And as you can see, we apply different methods on how to factor out polynomials and that is the basic thing we need to know or we need to remember before dealing with multiplying rational algebra expressions. Now, let's see what factor can be eliminated or can be cancelled out. Here, we have x minus 7 in our numerator. Cancel this out and cancel this out. Next, as you can see, we have x plus 7 in the numerator. And here, we also have x plus 7 in the denominator. We can eliminate this and this. And another thing, we have here x plus 3. Cancel this out. And here, we have x plus 3. And as you can see, all of the things here are eliminated. But we need to remember that it still has 1. And so also, this has 1 as numbers. So here, we also have 1. So when we multiply this, it goes like this. 1 times 1 is simply 1 over x times 1, that is simply x. And as you can see, this will be the product after multiplying this rational expression. As simple as this, 1 over x is the product. And we apply different methods on how to factor polynomials. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, what we have here is x minus x squared over x squared plus 6x plus 9 times 3x plus 9 over 3x minus 9. Here, we can factor this out as 3 minus x times 3 plus x. But for me, uh, we can uh, modify this like this. This one can be modified as negative x squared plus 9. Then we will factor out negative. So it will become negative times x squared minus 9. Okay? So we can modify or we can rearrange this and factor out negative. Because negative times x squared is negative x squared. Negative times negative 9 is positive 9. Over This one naman, we can copy this first. Later on, natin na factor yan. x squared plus 6x plus 9 times, this is 3x plus 9 over 3x minus 9. Let's try to factor out the numerator. This is negative. And this is 1 is under difference of 2 squares. So if this is x squared minus 9, the factors must be x plus 3 times x minus 3 over here 
this one is a perfect square trinomial. The factors are x plus 3 times x plus 3 or x plus 3 square. On the other side, yung 3x plus 9 natin, we have the common monomial factor which is 3. So, lagabas natin yung 3 dito. And then, 3x divided by 3 is x. 9 divided by 3 is plus 3. Over your denominator, as you can see, common din yung 3. 3x divided by 3 is x. Negative 9 divided by 3 is minus 3. Now, since the numerators and denominators are already in factored form, we can see what factor can be eliminated. Here, we can eliminate this and this. Also this and this. We can also eliminate this and this. As well as this 3. Okay? And as you can see, we don't have any variable that remains here in our answer. So what remains here is negative. Here 1. We also have here 1 and 1. Negative times positive 1 is negative 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Or in short, the answer is simply negative 1. This is the final answer in item number 2. Now let's move on with item number 3. Here, we multiplied rational expressions. In our example number 3, we will divide rational algebra expressions. Now, listen. For the division of rational algebra expressions, what we need to do is we will go through multiplication. Okay? So how do we do that? First, you will copy, okay, copy the first rational expression. We have x squared minus 9x minus 10 over x squared plus x minus 6. This is the, this is the first step. Huh? Next, this division symbol can be converted to a multiplication. Again, recap muna tayo. Copy, then change, and then get the reciprocal of this expression. So, what will happen is that this denominator will become the numerator. x squared minus 4 over your numerator will become the new denominator. x squared minus 1. And as you can see, we have now multiplication. After this, we need to factor this out. Same with item and item number 1 and item number 2. This is x minus 10 times x plus 1 over your denominator can be factored out as x plus 3 times x minus 2. So as you can see, the foundation here, or the key foundation here is factoring trinomials for this expression. Dito naman times difference of two squares. This is x plus 2 times x minus 2 over difference of two squares. Get the square root of x squared, which is x. Get a square root of the second term, 1 plus minus. So we need to check if we can, can cancel out some of the factors here. Ito, cancel this out, cancel this out. Next, this one, and this one. So as you can see, we have remaining factors in the numerator. So we will multiply them. This is x minus 10. Now this is times x plus 2 over your denominator x plus 3 times x minus 1. Now, guys, you might wonder bakit hindi natin dinaretsong multiply because it is it is much better to express our final answer in factored form. So we can declare this 
expression as the quotient when we divide this by this. So this is the final answer. Our answer is x minus 10 times x plus 2 over x plus 3 times x minus 1. Now let's move on with our fourth and fifth example. Here, we have in number 4, x squared plus 7x plus 10 over x squared plus 4x plus 4, divided by 1 over x squared minus 4. First thing we need to do is, we will copy this, pero idiretso na natin in factor form. The factors of this, I x squared, ah, sorry, x times x plus 5 times x plus 2 over the factor of this perfect square trinomial x plus 2 then x plus 2 then this one change to multiplication then we will get the reciprocal of this and this we know that the factors of this are x plus 2 and x minus 2 and it will be placed in our numerator so it will become x plus 2 x minus 2 over 1 so we skip a single turn a single step so it's time for us to eliminate the terms this and this will be eliminated then after that also this we can eliminate this and this so as you can see what is our answer multiply our numerators here x plus 5 times x minus 2 over 1. Now, we can express our answer as x plus 5 times x minus 2. Because this one, we can hide this one as invisible. Or, whether in one, we will multiply this by FOIL method. We can express this as x squared plus 3x minus 10 and these are the possible answers guys so how did I get x squared plus 3x minus 10 I multiply this using FOIL method x times x is x squared x times negative 2 is negative 2x okay and then plus 5 times x is 5x that's why 5x minus 2x is 3x the negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. These are the answers, guys. Now, guys, what we have here in number 5 is quite long. Pero tayo pa rin natin siya i-multiply. Now, factor na natin to or copy muna natin. Sige, copy muna natin. We have x squared minus 7x minus 18 over x squared plus 8x plus 12. Remember, ha? Copy the first rational expression. Change this into multiplication. Here, get the reciprocal. We have x squared plus 12x plus 36 over x squared minus 81. So as you can see, medyo mabilis lang tayo mag-factor na ating expression dahil sanay na tayo mag-factor out. Kaya, I hope na i-master nyo man yung pag-factor. Dito naman, the factor of this, the factors of this, is x square x minus 9 times x plus 2 over your denominator x plus 6 times x plus 2 okay the factors of 12 that will become 8 6 times 2 is 12 6 plus 2 is 8 times here perfect square trinomial to kaya x plus 6, operation factors niya, x plus 6 over, difference of two squares, x plus 9 times x minus 9. So, paano natin yung nakuha yan? Kinukuha natin yung square root ng x squared, which is x, square root of 81, which is 9, then plus and minus. So, it's time for us to eliminate the, radical, the common factor here, here, this one, and this one. Ano pa ba? Ito. Saka ito. So as you can see, for the numerator, 
what we have is this x plus 6, so x plus 6 over our denominator is x plus 9. So now we can declare that this is our final answer. That's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video on how to multiply or divide rational algebra expressions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!